Well good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I thought today I haven't looked at the uh, Phalaenopsis for a while and uh, I didn't do an update on these in uh, in May so I thought I'd do one for June. And uh, I had all these back in the greenhouse a few months ago and uh, they weren't doing too well. So I brought them all back inside and I'm pleased to say every one of them are now doing okay so we'll just have a look at them and uh, talk to you which what they are and we'll have a, have a look see if there's any uh, new growth on them well this is a Corning's violet so that's been in bloom for ages and I think it's had seven on all at the once it's just got two on now but uh, plenty and plenty of spikes and new ones growing there's a spike here that's uh, branching out there there's a new spike coming up there and these are all uh, getting ready for uh, to watering so when i've done this video i'll water them all and i'm just going to give them a little bit of uh, fostogen so that one's the corning's violet now this is the one that's the phalaenopsis uh, timothy christopher and I had this on the mount I made, but it did absolutely nothing. So I brought this back in here, I took it off the mount, I repotted it, and fortunately it's not in a clear pot. And uh, I'm pleased to say once it's been in here, we're just sending up a spike there. So I'm quite pleased about that one. Phalaenopsis Christopher Timothy. This is a Phalaenopsis Zeng Min Pixel and you can see where the uh, the little snails have had to do at this one and uh, this one had no roots on at all when I got it but now I'm pleased to say there's some coming on very very well there doing very nicely and uh, lovely flowers on these too but uh, they're all ready for watering so uh, we'll have a look at a few more and uh, then we'll get on with the watering. And this was another one that was on the uh, on the mount and it was a Phalaenoptis Mok Choi Yu and uh, that was doing absolutely nothing but since it's been inside there it's just starting to come out with uh, a new root so that one should be alright. I think I'll repot quite a few of these and uh, put them in a slightly bit bigger bark. Now this one's a Phalaenopsis uh, Bellina uh, Carulia. There's where the uh, slug had a go at that one. And uh, it's just coming into uh, to spike there. It had a spike, the one on the left, it was growing very nicely, but you can see it had the top bitten off, but now it's throwing up another one. <clears throat> a beautiful big plant, that one. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm quite pleased up to now. Now, this is the Shilleriana that uh, the slug had a go out there, but I'm pleased to say this is putting out a nice new spike. And uh, some nice new roots coming on this one. And I think they're doing well because I brought them inside and there's this uh, Mars Hydro light on them. And, uh, and I keep them very warm. They get up to about 26, 27 during the day and down to around about 18, 19 at night. And they absolutely love it. And I'm just watering them once a week. But I'm only feeding them once a month with uh, a little bit of phosphogen. Phosphogen's a little bit more, a, bit, a little bit like tomorite with uh, a little bit more stuff in it. And this is a nice big plant. It's a uh, Ambuenensis Nicole Cross Bellina, and it hasn't done anything. But since I'm putting it back here. There's four new growths there. I don't know exactly what they are, but uh, 
at least one of them is a new spike. So I've never flowered this one before but uh, it's giving me something to look forward to. Here's another one that was attacked by the unmentionables and uh, this is a uh, Bellina cross Venosa and uh, this hasn't flowered yet but it's putting up a nice spike there and plenty and plenty of uh, new growth coming along there. Some will be roots, some will be spikes. So these aren't going outside into the greenhouse anymore. They're just staying in this room all the time now. Here's a nice one. This is a Bellina Green. And uh, this flowered uh, once before and absolutely gorgeous blooms on these. And this is putting now a, a new leaf up, it's putting a new spike up, it's putting new roots up. You know, I couldn't ask for anything more off these plants. They're doing absolutely wonderful. I mean, they all look like a muchness of muchness of these, aren't they? So I hope you're not sick of seeing them. But uh, this one's doing nicely. This is a, a Samira. And... Uh, this is putting up new spikes, new roots, everything absolutely gorgeous. One, two, three. And by giving them a touch of phosphogen today, it'll bring them along a little bit quicker because it's a very good, uh, uh, so it's a very good fertilizer for, uh, well, they use it for fruit and vegetables and flowers. Well this is a much smaller plant, it's a Carulia again and uh, the new leaf here is far more bigger than the others so that just proves that they're happy where they are and this one is coming out with some uh, nice new roots there I don't think there's any spikes not what I can see anyhow but uh, once again, very pleased with them. Now this is a tiny little plant because uh, when I uh, bought the Carulia, this was a tiny little pink prick at the side of it that dropped off when I repotted it. So I thought, well, I won't throw it away. I'll just give it its own little pot. And uh, it's grown very well because you can see it's got some leaves underneath there. It's putting a new leaf out there and it's got some nice roots growing. So in another few years time, we might get some blooms off this one. Phalaenopsis Bellina Carulia. Well that's about all for today, so thank you for, uh, thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. And until I see you next time, I hope everybody's okay and I hope everybody's plants are growing. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye.